most parts of our state got some snow this week, so technically it is not too early to be thinking about winter. Dana Osgood breaks down the different types of nor'easters we can get. Fall and winter are the seasons for nor'easters, and November is no stranger to them. Nor'easters are large-scale, low-pressure systems that have strong northeast winds, giving them their name. They form most often in the fall and winter due to a large temperature difference between cold Canadian air masses and the warmer ocean waters from the Gulf Stream current. Nor'easters actually come in two types. They're called Miller types, Miller type A and Miller type B. Type A is what you might typically think of with a nor'easter. This storm forms along the southern coast of the U.S. and tracks up the coastline. Keep in mind here the precip delineations are approximate. Every storm is different based off of the temperature and the exact location of the area of low pressure. Miller type B storms have two components. A low comes off of the Rockies, known as a Colorado low. This storm, though, weakens as it approaches the Appalachian Mountains. Then a secondary low pressure forms on the leeward, coastal in this case, side of the mountains. The primary low then transfers energy to the secondary low, which then tracks up the coast similar to how a Miller type A storm would. These storms can cause damage to the very populated East Coast cities like DC, New York, and Boston, and here in Maine. They often bring high winds, causing damage to trees and power outages and they usually bring a lot of snow or heavy rain, depending on where the rain snow line sets up. Though a storm doesn't have to be a nor'easter to cause damage. The windstorms we saw in December 2023 and January 2024 were not nor'easters. Those systems passed inland, closer to Vermont than Cape Cod. The winds came from the south off the water, causing a lot of damage along the coast because of the winds being able to pick up speed over the ocean. Maine sees both types of nor'easters, though by the time they reach us, they tend to look similar. I'm meteorologist Dana Osgood, New Center, Maine.